metabolism could provide a way to attack cancer on a totally different level than what we were doing with genetics. We've been approaching cancer treatment the same way for well over a hundred years. Surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, we have to ask questions. We have too much information and there's too much research now that we're not integrating therapeutic nutrition, oncology nutrition, therapeutic diets, metabolic therapies like ketosis and fasting right alongside with chemotherapy and radiation. It's time for all the patients to know and it's time that oncology nutrition be part of the standard of care. What seems to be happening is that the fasting and the fasting mimicking diet are making the cancer much more visible to the immune system. So normally you don't see immune cells moving into the cancer. Why? Because the cancer cells come from the same body. So they learn how to tell the immune system, stay away, I'm from, I'm from the same organism. In some cancers at least, or in many cancers possibly, the fasting mimicking diets are as good as immunotherapy. And so we're very excited. Also because of the cost. Somebody poor could say, I don't really need the, the $100,000 drug. I can just do it uh, you know, for free or almost for free. I get a call one day from a woman who asked if she and her husband could come talk to me, and I said, sure. She had gotten this diagnosis of a brain tumor out of the blue. Young, very healthy woman, younger kids, and this was like, you know, sudden. They had a friend in Maine who did a ketogenic diet for his brain tumor, and when they went online also, they found my work. So they came, and she did really well, to the point where the physicians that up to now had been telling me, yeah, yeah, you're a scientist, it's, it looks good and nice, just go ahead now. All of a sudden went, hey, wait a minute, maybe we should look at this. Um, so some of the, a couple of the physicians, a couple of neurosurgeons that got interested in this because this patient did so well. And another patient also went on it and did quite well while she was on it. The first thing they thought the ketogenic diet did was reduce blood glucose. Tumors want glucose, glucose is just sugar. So it seemed very logical, reduce the glucose, starve the tumor. But it's so much more than that, so much more than that. We're getting less swelling, we're getting less angiogenesis, we're getting genes changing that should make the blood vessels tighter. The other thing that people started to see with ketogenic diet and ketones is it has neuroprotective things that go on. What if these ketones actually help protect the normal brain from chemo, radiation, whatever, while not protecting the tumor? Holy macro, you got the holy grail. 